Jeremiah had a difficult task. He had to prophesy to a group of people who did not want to listen to what God had to say. You know, some in our day are the same. They could care less what the Word of God has to say. They don't want to obey God. They want to live however they want to live. They look around them and they say, see, that person's living this way. They're getting along just fine. That person's living this way. They're getting along just fine. Why should I listen to that old ancient book? Well, listen to what Jeremiah had to say. Verse 16 of chapter 6. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. See, he said, he said, look for the old paths. I love that because, you know, this is, this is an old book. Uh, it's, it's thousands of years old, literally. Its message is still relevant, as relevant as the day that it was written right now today. The Bible tells us when we think about our path through this life, in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12, it says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So many people have said, I don't want God's path. I'm going to take my own way, and it's led them directly to death. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18 and verse 15, it says, Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up. And this is, this is once again, the, the idea is that the ancient paths, the good way, God's way, the way of truth that he's laid out for his people, they refused to walk in those paths. You know, the good way, that ancient path, it's a narrow path. Jesus says it like this in, jo in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13, enter ye in at the straight gate. Now that doesn't mean straight like a line. That means straight like the straight of Magellan, something that's narrow. He says, enter ye at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. That's that way that seems right to a man. And many there be that go in thereat. You know, it's a well-beaten path that leads to hell. It's sad, but it's true. But Jesus goes on, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. I just want to encourage you this morning. Those ancient paths, that, that old way, that way is the good way the way that seems right to a man that's contrary to the word of God, it always leads to death. That straight gate, it's so narrow, it goes down to as narrow as one man, and his name is Jesus. He said, I am the gate of the sheep. I am the way. If you want to follow that well-beaten path that so many people are on, if you want to get caught up in the crowd and, and go the direction that everybody else is going, know this, it's a dead-end street. But if you'll enter through the straight gate of Jesus, the gate of the sheep, if you'll heed his word and believe in your heart that his word is true, that he is the truth, and if you'll put your faith in him, he will save you and he will lead you on a path that will lead to life, that will lead to to peace, that will, you will find rest, he says, for your souls. That's a good way. That's the old path. That's the ancient path. I hope that you're on that path today. God bless you. Have a great day.